What's up guys, it's Gio back with another video. Today I finally got my body kit that I ordered for my car. I've been talking about it a lot on the videos. So it's only gonna be me and uh, my homie Kenny. He's gonna be helping me out. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna pull out the entire body kit completely because um, it's only two of us. So I'm gonna pull it out first and then lay it out on the ground. Then we're gonna go piece by piece, talk about it. I'll probably have Kenny talk about it while I record. Because again, it's only two of us. So right now just enjoy taking a take uh seeing us take the butter out of the box. So this is the setup once we uh, want to pull everything, everything out. Uh, I'm sorry if it's windy or oh, it's, if it sounds really bad, but it's really windy right now. So I'm gonna start with the front piece for now, the front lip. Actually, this one was a gift uh, from the guy that did the body kit. I sent him a link on um, on Yahoo Auctions, which is a Japanese website that they sell everything uh, car related. I mean, everything actually. And then I told him I wanted one. We didn't bet on time, so uh, he missed that bet. But somehow he found me that one and then he sent me a picture of it when he shipped the car, uh, the body key and he was like, that's a gift. Um, that, those things like in really good conditions, they go from like, I, I seen them between four to seven hundred dollars. Uh, he managed to give me this one and it's some work, but hey, it was free and it, and it is still good. And it's in really good conditions except for the color. Then this is a bumper that he did. It's a, for the ones that don't know this entire body kit, it's a... Uh, GTR C2 body kit conversion from the GTT to the GTR body. I don't like the, I said it many times, I don't like how skinny my car is. I like a wide, a uh, wide body on a car. So this is the reason why I ordered this one. Um, I will talk about later uh, who I ordered it through and how long did it took to get here in a different video for more details. But this is the bumper, um, the original, not, not original, but original look C2 body kit. Uh, my homie Kenny is the one that uh, does a lot of work on body work and knows about a lot of um, carbon fiber. So like so far, based on the body kit, what do you think about it? Uh, I think it's good. I mean, it's uh, if you look at a lot of body kits that people make, or even like if you just kind of like knock on them and feel them, like this one feels super solid. And then a lot of the big, one of the biggest issues with these, um, not like, I don't want to say not original, because like the guy made it. But like a lot of the issues with the body kits people buy is that these like mounting points up top will be super flimsy and that'll break on you or like down here. And that's, uh, it basically just cracks a lot easier. If you hit a tiny little bump, you can get a crack all the way up the bumper if it's too flimsy and your shit will just fall apart. But this one's really solid. It's, yeah. So th that was the front bumper. This thing was what delayed my body kit an extra like four to five weeks. So the guy got, I asked him, when I first ordered the body kit, I asked him he had the seat tune hood as well. He said he didn't have it at the moment. Um, a week prior, before he shipped the body kit, he told me that he managed to get a mold to make the hood. And he was like, you give me an extra two weeks, the mold is gonna get here, and you give me an extra three weeks, I will be able to make you the hood. So I said, yeah, so I delayed the body kit about four or five weeks. So um, I, I, it came with the hood. It wasn't supposed to come with it, but I got, Thank God I got I got a hold of this guy. The hood is supposed um, hood is made out of uh, FRP and fiberglass mixed together. The rest of the body kit, as far as I know, is made out of fiberglass. So that will be the C tune hood. Then we have the C tune uh, front fenders. Uh, they're definitely wider. I don't know if you guys saw the the wheels they above for the car. They def they're definitely way wider than the car. But I didn't buy the wheels for the actual body that my car has right now. I bought it for this body kit because I know this it's it's way wider than than my car that i have right now so i have i like the little bends that come on the side as well this makes the car looks way more aggressive uh, i'm gonna take it out of the back right now because i don't know i don't want to damage the body a little bit so the back helps protect take a bit um then we have the sasker and sasker extensions which kenny looked at them yesterday uh looked at them as well 
and I mean all the all the all the kit is really good conditions, right? All the kit's really good. Yeah, it's, there's I mean, obviously like, you're never it's never perfect like making fiberglass molds and stuff from like scratch. Like if you look really closely at some things, if you know body work really well, there's like in the hood there's a couple of like uh, it's kind of wavy in some spots. I don't know if you can see with the lighting at all. It's not that hard to fix, but it's just I mean. It happens with that all fiberglass shit. Mm. The, this is the the main one of the main things that I like because a lot of people when they buy this body kit when they get it from companies or something, it, yeah, you just have to like this portion right here. Mine covers the entire actual panel, like the entire panel from top to bottom, or from bottom to top. But like a lot of people only get half the panel. Um, this one did the entire thing. I looked at pictures of the guy in his Instagram because he did the exact same body kit on his own car. And as far as I know, everything lo looks like it's gonna be perfect fitting, but I don't wanna I don't wanna give a, a full review and a full. Um, so uh, I don't like to suggest things till I don't know 100%. Till I'm not 100% sure they they are perfect or they're really good quality. So far, the quality of the bike is pretty good. I still gotta test the fitting. Uh, so this is both sides as well uh, of the rear fenders. He actually he bid on this one on Yahoo Auctions for me. I asked him to buy it for me. And at the end, um, this was like 150, 180 dollars, but he gave it to me for free as well as a gift, I guess, for all the, the like waiting and everything, because uh, the bike took a little bit over three months to three months, two to three months to make. So he gave, it, gave me this one for free as well. So I didn't have to pay for that or the front lip. And this one is like an original GTR um, gas lid, which I think is pretty cool. Um, of course, like I already said, we have the side skirt and side skirt extensions. And then we have the rear bumper as well. It's gonna be just a regular uh, R34 bumper for the a GTR, of course. All of it, of course, needs to be prepped for paint and everything. Then we have the last couple um, items in here, which this is for the uh, the rear panels as well. This just makes it look a little bit better. Then we have the uh, gas sensor for the gas sensor. Then we have the this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see well. This is the um, rear bumper extension. And then we have the GTR um, tail light housing as well. Because if you guys don't know, you actually get uh, uh, the GTR uh, tail light housing is way different than the GTT. Because it has to match the, the bumper and the fender's width. So this is this. I had to order. I'm pretty much ordered the entire new set. The only thing I didn't get for this car from this body kit was the doors and the uh, trunk. Everything else is gonna get replaced But so far like I said like Kenny said as well It's a really good body kit really good um, Material not material, but like really good conditions and firm um, It's well made It's well made Like uh, one more time I know I repeat myself a lot of my videos But all we need to check that is left it's a fitting We're gonna check the fitting only in the front end of the portion So it be the hood the fan the bumper and the fenders I just want to test fit them uh, which is gonna be a different video Test fit the um, the fitting on it, and I'm gonna put the wheels that I already have for this ready for the car to see how much clearance I have between the wheels and the fenders. But this is the entire laid out. I'm gonna this. I mean, this entire car right there, the, all the way from the the bottom lip, the front lip, to the rear fender, the sides, and everything. I'm gonna thank Kenny for helping me out today. He's gonna be more often on my videos because he's gonna he's gonna be my right hand for all all the work. Because I was, you know, I'm learning still. He has a lot of experience. He's like, how old are you? Huh? How old are you? I'm about to turn 21. He's about to turn 21, but he's been working in cars for like 40 years already. <laughs> you know, all that extra experience. But, I mean, this is pretty much it. I just wanted to do a, cute, uh, a quick little uh, review and unboxing of my body kit. Because a lot of you didn't know I had that coming. Some of you, some of you knew. And I just wanted to show you guys how the body kit came in. Um, it got shipped from mainland Japan. That's where the guy that made it. Like I said, I will make, like I already said, I will make a different video once we test the fit and everything about who made it, how long did it took, how much did I paid, and the quality, like more to detail the quality and material of the body kit. But that will be after, you know, all the body kit gets put on the car and painted and everything. So, this is it. We're gonna put the body kit back on the box because it's actually at the shop. They, uh, they are ordered to and they're gonna close soon. So me and my honey, me and my homie, <laughs> me and my homie Kenny, I mix the home. Yeah. <laughs> I mix homie with Kenny. Me and my homie Kenny are gonna put the uh, the barkey back in the box and then just call it a day. See you guys in a different video.